Wingy Boxing, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm here with Paul Mann, trainer of uh, Jason Wellborn and others. Talk to me about your position at BCB first. What do you do, Paul? I see you everywhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're everywhere, brother. I'm just a bucket boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, just basically just training all our fighters. As you, I spoke to you earlier, we've got about 65 signed up now. Um, with Errol Johnson, who's the boss, who doesn't like doing interviews and that, hence why you always see me on these <laughs> interviews and everything. But um, yeah, we're really busy, going out week in, week out. Not only do we do the big shows, but we also do our own shows, 35 I think we've done last year. Um, yeah, 35 last season. I don't know how they've got it on, on the, how they, how they put it down or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, we've been really, really busy. And then obviously we've got our journeyman, so I'm out every single weekend and uh, just staying really busy and just training the top fighters. As you know, Zach Parker, Jason Wellborn, Connor Parker, um, Carl Williams, Adam, just, just, the list just goes, it goes on. on yeah. So, um, Jason Wellborn, Jarrett Hurd, what were your thoughts when you first heard about the fight? Would you, you was obviously aware of Hurd, right? Yeah, 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 well, I was, yeah, because he, obviously when he fought Laura, I was there, uh, well, I wasn't there, but I, I watched it, and I, I know about Jarrett Hurd, he's, he's, a, he's a good talent to beat, uh, Laura is phenomenal. I mean, t- t- he, he was lucky because he, he got him cut and he, he obviously put him down in the 12th round and that's, that's how he won. You're not taking nothing away from him, but that's not winning the fight because if you see the score, there's only one point in it. And he's a good kid. He's a big lad and he's a really good kid. And I was just, um, just really excited. But obviously, we've done our due diligence. Had to look at it and make sure that it's best for Jason. Uh, in all ways, and uh, because we had the Mark F from fight, which we was really looking forward to. I know Mark, Mark's a really good lad, really good fighter, and we was looking forward to having that fight. That was all our focus was on. But then when we had the call for this, I think if anybody who's in in boxing puts a lace as a pair of gloves wants to fight for a world title, that's yeah. what you're in. If you're not in it for that, then I don't, I don't know. But initially, whenever you start this journey, I think everyone who laces up a pair of gloves wants to fight for a world title, or some some. Go for the British, but like he's he's done that now. So he was he took it with both hands as soon as we mentioned it. But we've got to make sure everything's right. Obviously, we weren't allowed, allowed to announce anything whatsoever, so we had to stay quiet and had everyone say tweeting and everyone asking me questions. And every time we come out, to just say quiet and some very close people to as well because there's a number of trainers that we work with, and uh, they were saying, "Come on, we're we're close. You know what's going on? What's next for Jason? You know." And when we vacated and we said that we're not gonna fight Mark Efron though there was honest like we had to just stay quiet even I thought I thought what's going on there yeah. <laughs> at the time I thought what's going on there yeah, I'm just so glad they've announced it now so yeah. we, it's a bit of a relief for us as well because we signed all the contracts done and everything but we weren't allowed to uh, say anything until they announced it themselves but then I think Jared Heard tweeted that I'm fighting Jason Wellborn and then everyone was on on to me phoning me the same thing and then you get your haters I was about to say, what are your thoughts on what people have said? Uh, why is he getting this position and what what not? You know, well, we, we, we've, we've had it from day one. Like, I mean, 20 years, Errol's been in the pro thing. Before that, amateur 47 national champions. I mean, just this year alone, like how many, how many titles we've won and what we've done. So the hate is up. I like to take it on board because I love it. Because the way you get them back is just massive success. And that's what we're doing at the moment. I don't really... Without them, I don't think it, I think it gives me a bit more of a push in us yeah. as a team. It makes us go that that bit more and do that bit more. And I just, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> <Keep tweeting laughs> thank you very much, he says. <laughs> um, can I talk to you about the uh, Zach Parker, Darrell Williams fight? Um, a lot of people had Williams winning, it would seem. But then on reflection, it, it was a bit of a closer fight, some people are saying. What was your thoughts on the actual fight and the aftermath and people's opinions on the fight afterwards um, on the fight I just uh, all, all I'd like to say is that um, fair play to Darrell Williams you know he came in there he tried his best but there's levels and um, we fought for the domestic title you know and Zach Park is one special kid uh, anybody who's sparred him who's been with him knows knows what level that kid's at he's phenomenal he's, he's unreal and if you've seen that fight Zach Park is not a southpaw he fought 11 rounds from round two, halfway through round two, as a southpaw. And he's not a southpaw, and he still beat him. And they keep saying there's, there's, there's a lot of people, because everyone's got their opinions, and I don't want to um, show any disrespect to Darrell Williams or his camp or anything like that. 
But if they couldn't pick up, pick and beat someone who's only they can't even use their one arm and they can't see they couldn't see that and jump on him and do more. And I think he did try. He tried his best, but that kid's something else. He's phenomenal and he's still got it through. And it's not just fighting with one arm, it's the pain. The pain that he was going through every time he was coming back to the round. And I said, and Errol, um, I think you've all seen it on there as well, when he, when, when he says, come on, lad, you've got you to gotta push yourself through this. You've got you to do it. And he goes, yeah, I'm focused. He goes, I'm going to win. And he just went out there. But the pain, he goes, the pain was phenomenal. And he just got through it. That shows a different class. And um, after, after the fight, we did, um, manager Neil Marsh said it. Uh, we said it as well. Zach said it. I wanna, I'll fight him again, give him the chance, because the kid, he thinks he's been hard done by. But as you know, uh, you've just been interviewing Jason Wellborn. How many times has he been hard done by? Yeah. We've, we've been on the other side, but believe me, J- Daryl wasn't hard done by. He was, um, just thank his lucky stars that, Jay, that Zach Parker didn't have his two hands, because if he did, Jesus Christ. So you guys would get, are willing to give him the rematch? Oh, yeah, 100%. Say, yeah. yeah. 100%, without a doubt. But obviously, that's not just for myself to say. Of course, yeah. yeah if it all, team, if, yeah, sit as a team, if it all works out. Works out money yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. We've got like, um, a big promoter behind us as well, which is uh, Southland, who run the World Boxing course, Super yeah. Series. So we have to sit down with them. Obviously, the manager, Neil Marsh, Errol Johnson. They have to all sit together. It's not just a case of me. I'd love to have it again. Yeah, yeah. So I think, I think Darrell Williams deserves a chance anyway, because I've been, not as the fighter, but as the coach, I've been on that side where we've been really hurt and nobody's ever given us a chance, but we want to give the kid a chance because he, he truly believes with himself, in himself, which he's in the right to, that he won that fight. Well, we've got the belt and yeah I'd love to give the kids another chance so you're in a corner uh, you and Errol in a corner for Jason is that right and um, yeah that's correct the, her, her myself fight. Errol Ben Wilkes and Matt Sturgis who will be in the corner for that fight that night well the rocky story we shall see Paul <laughs> what do you yeah. think <laughs> win win of course of <laughs> that's course. it simple as we're not going as uh, anything else we're just going we're going there to win we, we, we don't take these just for uh, oh yeah, we're just going for the paycheck, or we're just going for the. You know, this is life changing, and the kids, uh, you know, he's been with us for that many years. I mean, he was 18 when he first started with Pat, Pat Cowdell and all that, and then he, he come with us and been with us right from the beginning. And then he had that spell when he went to um, obviously he went to MTK for a bit, which was understandable. Mom had died and those things, and we yeah. think we're like family. Like he said, we're like family, and we work uh, uh, endlessly. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm I'm convinced you're like Agent Smith and the Matrix because I just see you everywhere, brother. Every show, <laughs> everywhere. You know the Smiths, loads of them. Like, hey, so do I see. And I, <laughs> I tell you, I was talking to you earlier. Yeah, no one sees it, the, the the back scenes. What you do, non-stop, non-stop. I remember when Coogan first started. He, that guy started. I remember nobody even used to give him time of day. Not even look at him. They used to say, this guy coming up? He used to say the same with us. Yeah. Same yeah. With, now it's all, all of us. So they kind of all gone up together. Sort yeah, of, yeah, yeah, all yeah. Gone up, But I remember when everyone got, and it's still the same. Yeah. We still get it now. And as you know, they're all, some of the tweets at the saying to Jason, I can't believe he, uh, he's a mug, he's this, that. Yeah. Is he? <laughs> How do you? But um, yeah, if you look, look his success, then fine. Yeah, we're very lucky people, Amy Coogan. <laughs> Well, Paul, man, thanks for speaking to Wingy Boxing, IFL TV. Good luck with the fight and uh, we'll catch up with you. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, brother.